Tonight, we're learning about a family who is turning their grief into purpose. Yes, their wife and mother passed away, but it inspired them to give others what they call kits of hope. ABC4 Sarah Murphy here with the story that's good for Utah. After experiencing the tragedy of a lifetime, one Utah County family decided to take their grief and use it as a gift. I met with this family and learned why they say what they're doing is good for others, good for themselves, and good for Utah. Are you putting peanut butter on it? Yes. More jelly than that? Yes. It's just another day in the Clawson home. Do you want to get, grab a plate? Making lunch. There you go, dude. Playing games. I'm literally the best at this game. And lots of scheduling. I have a meeting at 2.30. For the Clawsons, it can be a life of laughter. <laughs> but it hasn't always been. He's now remarried, but four years ago, Jason lost his first wife to cancer. I remember putting on a mask that says, I gotta be strong for everybody. At nights, I would take it off and I would just cry because of how hard it was. And then when the morning came, you put it back on and you go back to work. So he decided it was time for a change. I said, I'm quitting my job. I need to reconnect with my kids. So we did a bucket list YouTube channel. We are on number six today. We went boating. Taking us boating, tubing, having lots of fun. We went fishing. My goal today, going fishing is to at least catch five fish or more. Another bucket list item, a lemonade stand. A lot of people down the road just had a line to get lemonade. We raised $1,500. Cooper says, Dad, we're rich. <laughs> I said, we're not rich. This just means we can help more people. So that's what they did. With family and friends' help, the Clausens made hope kits gift boxes with treats and goodies, but also with healing tools like a journal or therapy tactic cards. They delivered these kits to those going through their own tough times. I want people to see someone that's gone through a hard time to give them hope through their journey. What started as a family project now has reached all 50 states and four countries, yeah. <laughs> delivering over 250 boxes in three years. Okay. Okay. Teaching the Clausens, they say, that an act of kindness, <laughs> no matter the size, even a box can go a long way. The Clausens also started what they call Pay It Forward Fridays, where you can nominate someone in your life going through a hard time, and they'll deliver a hope kit to a nominee each Friday. For more information, you can go to our website, abc4.com. Back to you.